hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. Today we actually went to Publix and I did a grocery pickup as well, y'all. Total, I spent about $70 at Walmart and we spent $3.30 at Publix, y'all. I don't know what... The only thing that's not on the table, y'all, is this water. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. So I did purchase the hydrangeas. Um, they were like three for 12, which I need some more of them because clearly this pot ain't, it's looking a little skimpy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go back sometime this week, probably today or tomorrow, tomorrow to get like three more bundles of the hydrangeas because this is looking a little skimpy here. I try to do the floral arrangements now at least once a week, y'all, because I just think, you know, they're so cute and I love, um, I love them as centerpieces on my table. So y'all, I'm trying to figure out what I got for $400. Is it make it make sense? I know the meat and stuff, so I got some. I got oh, let's just jump right into it. I got some salmon, y'all. The Atlantic salmon fillet, these are like two long fillets, and this was $31. The meat by itself was like a hundred dollars. We got some ground beef, and that was like twenty dollars. We have some steak, so yeah, about a hundred dollars on the meat this week. So, okay, I can see that cool. But three hundred dollars with the rest of this stuff, make it make sense. Make let's let's just go through it. Um, I got a uh, alloy leaf. I think that's what you call them, y'all, because I do want to um put this in baby girl's hair. I hear it really helps your hair grow, although she don't really need it. But we are gonna see how this does. I want to um wash her hair, deep condition it real good, and use some alloy in her hair. We also got some grapefruit. There's some cucumbers there. We have some zucchini. Of course, we have our turkey bacon, some lemon. We have the um, grape tomatoes because I want to do like a um, a mason jar salad type situation this week. We are getting into our meal prep era, okay, y'all? So I've been pushing this off for the longest. And y'all, we are finally getting started with our meal prepping okay you guys saw me do the overnight oats a few weeks ago i want to bring the overnight oats back into a meal prep i also want to do like like i said these um salad and mason jar situation so we're going to do that for like a lunch um a meal prep for lunch and then of course like we'll do chicken or salmon or something like that for our dinner maybe as far as meal prepping i know that will help a lot when it comes to me eating better and not really having to go to fast food or just eating out so much i'm trying to limit my eating out tremendously y'all in 2024 so we did that a lot in 2023 however we had mcdonald's a whole lot we had wendy's a lot just a lot of fast food unhealthy fast food so y'all know in 2023 one of my biggest focuses were, was fitness um 2024 will be fitness and eating better so yeah um at the end of, it's now the end of the year we are preparing for next year we get things started now okay we're not waiting until 2024 so a meal prep video coming soon i do want to start incorporating those into um the channel I want to start incorporating my fitness journey into the channel, my weight loss journey into the channel. So we're going to figure that out. I still owe y'all a few videos, baby. I owe y'all a whole lot of videos. Just bear with me. Thank you to those who have stuck by me from the beginning. Next year will actually be three years. Next January will actually be three years that I've been on YouTube, y'all. And it has been a journey. I've been trying to figure this thing out, and we slow pacing this thing, y'all. We ain't moving too fast. Um, we just, I'm, I'm just really loving the content now. The grocery hauls, and with the grocery hauls, I'm incorporating my cooking videos now, and I'm able to be more creative with that. And with that, I'm gonna kind of expand off into the meal preps and the fitness. Y'all just wait for it. It's, it's gonna be a whole vibe, okay? A whole vibe. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I hope you enjoy the content, but let's get to this, this grocery all here now. I did get these grapes. They are the Sweeties, not the cotton candy, 
but um, these are supposed to be a little sweeter, extra sweeter than the normal green grapes. So we're gonna try these to see how they compare to the cotton candy. Y'all know the cotton candy is like our favorite around here. We also got the red grapes. I got some bananas, y'all. The caramel macchiato Starbucks. Y'all, this sneakers coffee, the sneakers coffee creamer by Coffee Mate. If you have not had it, okay, I'm gonna I'm say it again. It's been in like several grocery hauls, y'all. This is good, okay, good. Um, we needed some plastic cups. I got Jason Takis. We got some Doritos back there, the Cool Ranch. Um, baby girl loves these pretzels, y'all. So I did get her a thing of pretzels. These are actually two for seven. I just got one because they last her so long. Um, we got some milk, orange juice. Y'all, I saw this cranberry sauce and picked it up because y'all know Thanksgiving is in a few weeks. And for some reason, I always forget the cranberry sauce. So I saw it and just grabbed it. This was like $2. I'm sure it'll be cheaper the closer we get to Thanksgiving. Um, I think, like I would hope that cranberry sauce would be less than $2 this year. But y'all, the way inflation is, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can get cranberry sauce for like 99 cents. Or we could in the past, maybe. I don't know. But I got this just in case I forget to get the cranberry sauce, y'all. I love cranberry sauce in my dressing, baby. Like, give me some cranberry sauce, okay? I got it to make sure we had it just in case. More than likely, we will be getting more because we like cranberry sauce around here. We do on our dressing. So, we got some Tony's um, Creole seasoning. We got this turkey breast lunch meat. Y'all, I know, y'all hardly ever see me buy pops. I don't really do, I don't buy soda for the house. Now, if we are out and about at McDonald's or something, we're getting, you know, some fast food, I'll get a Sprite or something, a Mountain Dew maybe, but I hardly ever, you hardly ever see soda, pop, whatever you want to call it in my grocery haul. But baby, I've been craving, I have been craving Mountain Dews lately. So I figured, let's get these baby Mountain Dews. They're like 110 calories each. They're little baby, like they're half of the regular can of Mountain Dew. So this may be a little better than the regular can. I don't know, but we got the baby Mountain Dews, y'all. That's just my guilty pleasure. Um, thinking healthier, but we're not the healthiest, okay? We got some chocolate chip cookies, y'all. My family loves these. I prefer the turtle in the Toll House, there's like a turtle Toll House cookie situation. I prefer that. Jay's hubby and baby girl loves the uh, um, the chocolate chip. So yeah, we got that. We have some aluminum foil as well because y'all know it's the holidays. We're going to need extra aluminum foil, okay? I cook a lot with aluminum foil, so I did get some. Got some bread, some Oreos, some fruit snacks, the Lunchables there, which by the way, they was like two for seven. Wasn't a good deal um similar to how Kroger's was the other day when we got them for like a dollar 99 I probably should have racked up on those then some Hawaiian rolls we have some popcorn the apple juice the cinnamon toast crunch was actually buy one get one um we got some pancakes y'all I got some toothpaste this is Myers hand soap y'all I have never tried Mrs. Myers. Um, at least knowingly, let me say that. But we did get the lavender scent to see how this goes, to see how this little situation is. Some Axe deodorant. So we got our Dunn Power Wash, full cider vinegar. We also have two things of the Dove soap. We have some downy, and we also have the fabric sheet. We got some sweet potatoes, y'all. I'm making sweet potato pies, baby, because that's just something that we have to have for Thanksgiving. Um, I actually just got off the phone with my grandma and she gave me the rundown on her recipe again for like the fifth year because I always be forgetting stuff, y'all. Last year, I forgot to put the sugar in the sweet potato pies and it takes my husband, baby, to tell me that I forgot the sugar, okay? So this year, I'm going to have to remember to put the sugar. I had sugar. I just completely forgot doing too much, y'all. Um, so yes, we have our sweet potatoes, y'all. I picked this up because back in the day, my grandma used to talk about persimmons a lot. And I don't think I've ever knew what a persimmon was. I think it's a type of fruit. I'm going to have to Google it. But all of them look like this. And their their actual term is 
Hachia? I don't know, but y'all know I've been into my fruits and vegetables. I saw that and I was like, hmm, I think it's like a fall thing. Um, I think they're only grown like this time of year or they're only good this time of year. So yeah, excuse my ashiness, y'all. I have been shopping, okay? I've been out this morning, early out and about, trying to get everything we need for Thanksgiving. I picked up some ginger because baby, after Thanksgiving, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to detox, okay? We're gonna have to de well, I'm gonna say a few days after Thanksgiving, because y'all know once we eat for Thanksgiving, we eat those leftovers for like two to three days. So after that, your girl is gonna have to juice and detox and all the above. So we picked up some ginger, y'all. I have some romaine. We have some collards, y'all. Yes, we are doing collard greens and smoked turkey next mixed so the smoked turkey next will be mixed into the collard greens whole situation i forgot my liquid smoke but i'm gonna have to go back to the grocery store anyways this week i had already planned on it because we are also doing a seafood mac and cheese with crab the real crab meat not the imitation crab real crab meat we're doing real lobster meat so i have to go back and get the lobsters anyway so yeah i'll pick up the liquid smoke then how could i forget the liquid smoke just thought about it for our collards we have um a banana i did pick up some romaine to make a salad we have a honeydew y'all these honeydew didn't look too good but i don't know looks may be deceiving once i cut into it it may be good juicy and sweet i got some celery to cut up because we are doing dressing as well and you know you need your celery your onions and your bell peppers speaking of bell peppers they didn't have them so i'm gonna have to also get those on wednesday sometime this week as well um, just making a mental note because I knew I was going to have to go back to the store for something. Like this morning, I ran in twice because I forgot some stuff. And then after that, I still forgot some stuff. We have some cream of chicken, y'all. I got some evaporated milk for the sweet potato pies. We have some um, cranberry sauce. I picked up some spaghetti sauce. We have the roasted garlic and herb and also the three cheese. I have some cran apple juice. I also picked up some cran raspberry juice, y'all. We have a few gallons of water. Some Tabasco sauce for hubby. Shoes, milk, lorries. Um, specifically, I picked up more lorries for the mac and cheese. We have some peanut butter, y'all. Jace is also out of school this week. Those of you who have kids, you know. Um, we have some turkey bacon, y'all. I picked up some ground beef for the spaghetti. We have Oreo. Y'all, this is the jumbo lump crab meat that I was talking about. The real crab meat that I'm going to put in the, um, the seafood mac and cheese. So I got two of those. Like I said, we're going to do lobster as well. Some eggnog, y'all, because I like eggnog for me eggnog this time of year is just everything okay so and really a little spiked eggnog will do but you know i can take it none spiked as well um we have butter y'all the real butter because baby my mother-in-law ain't gonna be talking about me okay she ain't gonna be talking about me with my imitation butter so baby we've been getting the real butter here lately okay the real butter gg if you listening we get the real butter now okay um, we have some smoked sausages, y'all. These are my smoked turkey necks that we will be throwing over in the greens to give it, you know, that little bit of smoky flavor. Um, I also picked up some aluminum foil because, baby, if you don't know, you need this around this time of year, okay? Aluminum foil, baby, you get you some. And I think it was on sale, but I had bought some last week, too. So, I just picked this up just in case we need it more, y'all. I hate running out of stuff i hate having to go to the store at the last minute to get stuff so yeah that's just me um more beef sausage as well clearly if we're making sweet potato pies we have to get the pie crust i ended up doing the deep dishes time so we do have four pie crusts i'm not sure if um i'm gonna make all four i don't know we'll see i picked up some mount Dew because i have been craving mount Dew lately you guys saw the little cans in my last haul. These were actually on sale today for $3.50. So I picked them up. The little cans was like $4.40. So I'm like, I probably should have just got the little cans though. Because I don't need this, y'all. I don't. I don't need Mountain Dew. But there's it. My guilty pleasure for now. Okay. And who cares? Because it's holiday season. Like, yes, I have still been in a gym working out. Actually, last week I only did three days. Y'all know I try to do anywhere from three to five days in the gym every week. Really four to five, but last week I only did three. 
So this week, I may have to step it up a bit and just do all five days. I probably should have went today if I'm doing that. But it's okay. We're going to figure it out, okay? We're going to figure this thing out. I got some Honey Nut Cheerios because those were on sale. The General Mill cereal was actually on sale. Buy one, get one. So I picked up the Honey Nut Cheerios because that's a little bit healthier, right? And then we also got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch for the kids. We have the Oats and Dock Chocolate Granola Bars. Those were actually buy one, get one as well. Publix really... I don't think I mentioned this, but this is actually a Publix haul. They really had a lot of stuff on sale today. I'm, I'm like, these grocery stores know what they be doing, okay? Around the holidays, more people in there shopping, so y'all want to throw stuff on sale. I ain't mad at it because y'all know I love me some oats and dark chocolate, oats and dark chocolate granola bars. I did pick up these Jiffy cornbread mixes um, for our cornbread dressing. Um, this is what my grandma used, y'all. I got my grandma's recipe. I don't know. I may do like a whole, I was thinking about going live for Thanksgiving, but baby, the way my two-year-old set up, she be popping off at the mouth sometimes. And you know, it, it'd be a struggle sometimes. Like she talking and she's, she's saying words that y'all can understand now. So I don't know about necessarily going live for Thanksgiving, but I may come with like a Thanksgiving, um, a Thanksgiving video of me cooking me in the kitchen or whatever. So we'll see about that. We are, oh yes, yeah, so onto the Jiffy Jiffy cornbread for my um, cornbread dressing. I'm thinking about throwing some chicken um, into one pan of my dressing. Um, we have the Kings for Cajun style um, seasoning because hubby needed some Cajun seasoning for something. I'm trying to figure out why he needed this now. I'm gonna have to ask him. He actually looked up a recipe for the macaroni, and I'm guessing that's why he needed the Cajun style seasoning. But normally, I put Lowry's in my macaroni. So, we have some sweet pickles. We have black pepper, some poultry seasoning. We also have some smoked paprika. Also, key to macaroni, y'all, this smoked paprika. Not just the regular, but smoked, okay? Um, also, I did the block cheeses, y'all, when I'm cooking just about anything now and i got time on my hands i'm doing a block um this cheese is so much better to me um in meals than the shredded cheese the cheese is already shredded i mean hands down it's just so much better to me um so i did do all of these are for the macaroni and cheese i did sharp cheddar kobe jack moderate jack and extra sharp cheddar for the macaroni i will shred all of these up and yeah, all of those will go in the macaroni. We have bread because baby, we're gonna be doing a lot of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches this week, okay? <laughs> we got some eggs, y'all. Homemade vanilla bluebell ice cream around this time of year is everything. Like, give me a good dessert and some ice cream, baby. I'm out, I'm out for the count. Feed me good, give me my dress and my turkey. Oh, by the way, y'all, so y'all really don't see a lot of meat. I don't do meat, I can't do meat. Um, typically we just purchase our meats. Um, so we did, I think hubby did a Cajun turkey this year. We're doing brisket. We have a few, um, hens coming. Um, so yeah, as far as meats go, we normally just purchase already cooked meats from like a barbecue place in the area. Y'all typically it's good. When we were in Texas, we did, um, we did Dickie's. And we also did, I think, one other place for the meats when we were in Texas. But yeah, I don't, I can't do meats. I deep frying Cajun style turkeys, cooking them in the oven. I mean, I probably could, but that just ain't me. Like sides, I'm good. Just give me what I need to make as far as sides and I'll take care of that. The meats, let's tell somebody else to do it, okay? Because that ain't me. I, I stay in my lane um, when it comes to um, meats for holidays. Um, so yeah, I also picked up some hot chocolate because I just got that for the kids, y'all. It was on sale two for seven and, um, baby girl has kind of been into her hot chocolate. Speaking of that, I forgot the marshmallows. That's that. We have some ruffles. I also picked up the spicy nacho Dorito. We got some fruit snacks, y'all. I needed some paper plates. Did I mention popcorn? We got some popcorn back there. That was actually buy one, get one as well. Some pancake mix. We also... So I do these stove top stuffing chicken to make my dressing. In addition, of course, we add the cornbread, ice cream. Mm -hmm. Those are plastic plates. Of course, we need our pans, y'all. These are our Sam's purchases for the month. Um, pine saw, y'all. This pine saw is like $13 for two big things. Um, 
definitely a deal and these huge bottles last me quite a while probably for like two or three months we also have some downy calm infusions fabric softener these cascade pods y'all have lasted me a year and trust me i use my dishwasher like no other okay i think they're like 25 dollars max um so yeah i love to get those from sam's the last time i purchased these was when we first moved to tennessee and i'm just now having to buy more and honestly i probably have like 20 more in the container still um i like to get my bounty paper towels as well for from sam's I like to get these Tide Pods um, laundry detergent because they also last us um, a couple weeks, honestly. I put, I probably overdo it and put like four or five pods in one load. This is the haul after Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving, I love the holidays, but it always seems like we are replenishing. Always feels like we are replenishing our stash. With that being said, y'all, let's get right into the haul. This is a Walmart haul. I am a little disappointed, y'all, in these fruit. And I always I always put myself through this for some reason. And it's like I give them chance after chance and they just can't seem to get it right. I placed a Walmart haul today because I didn't feel like going in Publix. And for some reason, when I place a online pickup order for Publix, it always feels like I'm spending more than I should. So I prefer to go in Publix because y'all know Publix is much more expensive than Walmart. So, yeah, with that being said, I placed a grocery pickup for Walmart. Y'all, hubby's in a bag cooking breakfast, and you may hear him, so please disregard that. But we did get some carrots, y'all, because I do plan on juicing today. Tomorrow, I'm actually doing a all juice and fruit, well, fruit, juice, and veggie day, just to clean out my system because, baby, Thanksgiving, we ate. We ate Thanksgiving, we ate the day after, we ate yesterday what was yesterday saturday yes we ate y'all we ate we ate we ate and i just need to clean out my system so i do plan on juicing so we have some carrots y'all look at these carrots though like Publix would never give me carrots looking like this ever ever then i placed an order for apples y'all look at this they're brown like i really i really need to take these back we have some lettuce as well for salads. I have some celery for juicing. We got some limes also for juicing. Y'all, I wanted to get the sourdough bread um, by Pe Pepper's Horn just to try it out. Um, so yeah, I did get some Pepper's Horn bread. Y'all, and this week I plan on doing like, um, actually the viral TikTok um, of the lasagna soup so I do plan on running that back or running that this week as a new meal so of course I will video that so we did get some feta cheese parmesan ricotta and kobe jack oh and we got some mozzarella as well so the feta ricotta mozzarella and parm those are for the lasagna soup so we're going to try that this week and see um I hear it's really good. We're going to see. We're going to see. All right, y'all. So I decided to make the viral TikTok lasagna soup. Y'all, these are our seasonings. These are our ingredients. I put them all together. Of course, your girl had to have a bell pepper and onion because those are my fave. We actually added in our onions and our bell peppers, y'all. Of course, we seasoned our ground beef real good. I actually boiled my noodles in beef broth and also chicken broth. Y'all, our diced tomatoes, tomato paste spaghetti sauce we had our heavy whipping cream we had three different kinds of cheese we had ricotta parmesan and mozzarella i mixed those up together actually i mixed the ricotta and the parm up through that in a pot i grated the mozzarella because it came in a block here's dinner um y'all i did purchase a new air fryer during black friday y'all it was like half off and i've been in the market for an air fryer for some time now we've been saying we're gonna get an air fryer because i just hear how how much easier um, it is to make meals with your air fryer. So I got some parchment paper or um, air fryer liners for the air fryer. So yeah, stay tuned for those meals as well. Eggs, I also got some salmon. Tomorrow I'm thinking about just making um, blackened salmon for the family. Of course, I am not going to eat it, which I probably should make the salmon another day. But yeah, tomorrow I just need to do a cleanse. I'm even saying I may need to make it a 48-hour cleanse, but y'all, 
I don't know. I don't know how well that's, that'll go. But I think I can do, I think I can stick to a 24-hour cleanse. 48 hours is pushing a little bit. We'll see, though. We'll see how I'm feeling after the 24 hours. Um, of course, I will take you guys along that journey. Um, we did get a pot roast because I'm like, I need easy meals because y'all, when I say Thanksgiving was very heavy, so it's like, I just want to have a light week this week. So, of course, sad man, real quick, easy, light meal, pot roast, throw it in the oven in the morning, and it's done by the time I get off work. Um, so, yeah, that's easy. I'm going to do the lasagna soup which i don't think will be too extreme or too hard oh and i want to do some um some um steak and rice as well like teriyaki steak and rice yeah so we'll see um so those are my meals or planned meals for the week and um, we also got some orange juice, y'all y'all if you guys have not smelled this candle my mother-in-law actually put me on this if I can get it up, y'all. It's the Better Homes Blue Fern Citrus Candle. Y'all, this smells so good. So, as you can see, can you see? It is not focusing. There we go. So, it has citrus, green, floral, amber, moss, and woods um, as the scent notes. Y'all, this smells so good. Um, yeah, it's it's a little more expensive than Bath and Body Works when Bath and Body Works has their sale. So I think that was like $13. You know, I think Bath and Body Works candles get as low as like $10. But for a regular price, for the regular price, y'all, yeah, it's way cheaper than Bath and Body Works because I think right now their candles are going for like maybe $25, $30 each if there's not a sale. But y'all, that candle, it smells so good. Um... Did I say orange juice? We got orange juice, watermelon, pineapple, of course, for my fruit day. Um, we have two bags of Doritos. We have some soap. Y'all, I did not ask for this. They just put this in the bag. I did not want this. I actually asked for two of these. This is the Fresh Sensations Carpet Odor Eliminator in the Island Mist scent. We have some paper plates, some toothpaste, y'all. I needed some more pods, so I got the all pods this week i needed some more done as well so we got that the lysol laundry sanitizer we have some cran apple juice we have some apple juice as well the moat apple juice um this is actually for the lasagna so i did get the prego roasted garlic and herb um spaghetti sauce we have some tomato paste some chickpeas because um i want to milk prep i want to do that today as well and I'm gonna do like a salad meal prep with, of course, salad, the great tomatoes, cucumbers, you know, the olive oil dressing, all that, and um, corn, maybe black beans, and I got some chick chickpeas. I don't think I've ever had chickpeas knowingly, so I am gonna try chickpeas. I hear they're really good for protein. Um, butter as well. Y'all, we ran through a lot of butter for Thanksgiving. I wanted the Mahatma Jasmine Rice. They did not have the Mahatma, so we're going to try out this great value Jasmine Rice. We have some bell peppers. We have some mandarin, cucumbers, onions, the great um, tomatoes, Rice Krispie Treats, y'all. We have the lasagna noodles as well as Lunchables because Jace go back, goes back to school this week. Y'all, I'm trying to step it up with Jason lunches, and it's like I just really haven't found the time to do anything else other than Lunchables. But, y'all, we're going to get there, okay? We're going to get there before the end of the year. We have some grapes, y'all. Look at how big. I don't know if y'all can see on camera, but these grapes are huge. Like, Publix would never. We have some jumbo potatoes, y'all. I have a golden canary melon. I've never had one of these. I actually asked for a honeydew. They did not have honeydew, and they substituted it for this. So, I was like, I'll try it. You know, it says sweet and juicy. So, I mean, hopefully it's very hard. So, I don't know. I don't know how to eat those. I'm going to have to Google it or something. Um, we also got a papaya with some bananas, some water. We got some fruit snacks and some noodles as well, y'all. Get right into it. We have some collard greens, y'all. So, today is Saturday. Um, that means tomorrow. Clearly, will be Sunday. And... We wanted to do some collard greens, y'all. 
I think my husband is reminiscing on Thanksgiving, y'all. So we are going to make some collard greens um, with a smoke. So they didn't have smoked turkey next. So I ended up doing this smoked turkey drumstick. We're gonna throw that in with the collard greens so it can get that smoky taste. Um, in addition to this, we're gonna have like some, oh, we're gonna have our lobster and salmon and some um, fettuccine noodles, y'all. This is his menu. I want the noodles. Okay, I'll get you some. Y'all, this is his um, This is his meal that he just came up with while I was shopping in Publix. So, so yeah, that's that'll be our Sunday meal tomorrow, y'all. I also have a roast already in the freezer, so I plan on doing some beef tacos as well again this week. Um, I plan on doing some beef tacos this week. Y'all, I got some ground beef because, y'all, we're going to have an easy night, okay? We're going to do some hamburger helper one night. Um, I do plan on meal prepping with these boneless wings. So, yeah, that's the gist of our meals this week, I believe. But I did pick up some romaine hearts, um, the romaine lettuce. We have some celery because last week I juiced, so we're going we gonna to try to juice again, y'all, this week as well. I have some broccoli. We also have some spinach and some, we have a pineapple, some strawberries, grape tomatoes. We have a honeydew melon. Y'all, I attempted my all-fruit day on Monday and I made it a good 16 hours, I think, y'all, by 5 or 6 o'clock p.m. I got a little hungry and I gave in to some Chick-fil-A, unfortunately, but I did consume a lot of fruit this week more fruit than i normally would so that is the goal i said in 2024 i'm gonna have to change it up a little i'm gonna have to change it up although i have i have modified my eating habits a ton this year i know there's a lot more that i could be doing so yeah we'll get there y'all i promise we will get there one step at a time we have some mushrooms and also some bell peppers because we always need bell peppers i picked up the green bell peppers and also a red i got some ready whip whipping cream we also have the hershey's syrup and the hershey's caramel y'all these were actually on sale buy one get one we have the pineapple mango juice by tropicana and then we also have the strawberry peach juice by tropicana those were actually two for five I picked up some pancake syrup. Y'all, we have apple juice because Amila loves her apple juice. Um, we have milk, y'all. We needed some more butter. I bought a whole bunch of butter before Thanksgiving, but y'all, we ran through most of that. Um, we have some jalapenos also for the brisket tacos. Like I said, I do plan on meal prepping this week, so I picked up some boneless wings. I'm thinking about cutting these up really fine into like cubes. And y'all, just got an air fryer. Y'all know that whole situation. You guys probably have saw a video on it by now. But I'm thinking about throwing that in the air fryer because I think that would be super easy. Italian green beans. I have two cans of those. Some ground beef, again, for, for the hamburger helper. I also picked up some lunch meat as well. We have the smoked turkey breast lunch meat and also the oven roasted turkey breast. Y'all, the smart water was buy one, get one free, so I got four of those. I also got a 24 pack of the, the Sunny Water as well. I don't think I've ever tried the Smart Water and I just picked it up because I saw that it was on sale. Honestly, we didn't need it. We we, we did not need it. But um, also something else that we didn't need is these Mountain Dews that have been in every haul for the last like three weeks. But they were on sale also, y'all. Buy one, get one. Excuse my voice. I've been a little under, under the weather lately. Um... Y'all, I said this came along, this, whatever this is, this congestion came along from all of that food I had for Thanksgiving. I think I'm paying for it afterwards. So for Christmas, I don't know, we may have to go a little lighter. So we'll see. But I did get two of those cases of Mount Dews because they were buy one, get one. I also got the Mission flour tortillas as well as the street tacos. Oh no, these should have been the, these should have been the, so hubby eats the corn tortillas and I eat the flour, but I got two flours. So hopefully we have some corn already in the fridge, y'all. We gonna have to, oh no, we gonna have to see. But 
I picked up some bananas, also some lemon for juicing. We have some bread, um, some ruffles, y'all. We also have some Lunchables, some Bluebell ice cream, y'all. Y'all, these are my favorite wines. The Stella Rosa and also I think this is the Riscato. Y'all, favorite, favorite, favorite. So they're both reds and they're sweet reds. I love sweet anything. <laughs> Just about. This is why I'm in the position that I'm in, trying to lose weight. But y'all, these are both. I also had to pick up the Sneakers Coffee Creamer. Um, good as well. I needed some whole grain oats also. Y'all, I have never tried these protein pancakes, but we are gonna give these a swirl. These are the blueberry po protein pancakes. <clears throat> they had chocolate chip, but I was like, let's just do blueberries. So we'll see about these. Y'all look at the amount of protein on them or in them. 14 grams of protein. I also have the regular as well. Y'all, I don't wanna say it because she's sitting right here and. That's the whole situation, y'all. Obsessed, okay? So, yeah, we have those. We have some Lucky Charms, the chocolate, y'all. I was like, why not? I've never seen these before, so we'll see if the kids like it. Um, We also have some Honey Nut Cheerios. We needed some deodorant, some eggnog, because eggnog this time of year is just the holy grail. We have some heavy whipping cream and also some Tide Pods. 